what is up everybody over right here and we are back with some more time trekker a very fun and unique action roguelike type game horde survival all that fun stuff but this game really focuses heavily on the character and weapon customization it's really cool and there is a ton of customization you can do with this game we did do a full run through not too long ago with the first character uh veteran mcnulty so if you want to do that go ahead and search the channel for time checker you'll see we did three videos on that uh on that run through we're probably going to do the same with this character because there's different acts so each act takes about 30 to 40 minutes so we'll do a couple different videos so we're going to run as the new character we just unlocked her her special is going to be launch three highly destructive incendiary missiles no cooldown can be used continuously as long as sufficient energy is available and then we're going to be running she it looks like she has pretty overall stats uh, I did do a lot of upgrades on here, so we're going to get extra revive. We're going to get an extra invincibility shield. We're going to get two levels into survival, one into combat, one into agility, one into focus. Uh, we're going to get some extra defensive stuff like a shield, extra crystals. Our weapon level is going to be one level higher. We're going to get double intimidation effect, uh, extra counterattack, some critical or XP gains here. 10% uh, chance for double our crystals, extra luck, and then an extra refresh. So let's jump into the timeline. And just so you know, we are running non-copyrighted music in the background, just real quick, because I'm hoping some segments won't be muted, but this game has a ton of copyrighted music. And the problem is that I don't know when it's gonna show up. It could be a 30 second segment, a two minute segment. Uh, it just shows up and YouTube, unfortunately, doesn't really give me many options just to mute the music. I have to mute the whole segment. And that doesn't work. So we're running non-copyrighted music in the background. I tried to turn the volume down low enough so it's not too distracting. But let's jump into this. We're going to start off with a rocket launcher level 2. We start off with 30 extra crystals. So I'm just going to unlock a third weapon right away. And then we start off with slightly higher combat levels. All right. So let's just jump into the game. Okay, so her special is this rocket, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's do, again, we're gonna try to run different weapons this game. Uh, I don't know which ones in particular, but last time we ran the gravity gun and the static field and some other ones, we're not gonna do that this time. We're gonna try to run different ones. Let's go with weakness analyzer and we'll equip that one right away. So let's see, let's see how her special works. So I'm just launching rockets. Okay, let's do power boost. And we'll equip this on this again. I know we have three weapons, we'll pick those up. So yeah, I can just keep shooting. It's like I can just keep doing the rockets as long as you have energy. Okay, let's try, yeah, let's do Flamethrower. Flamethrower seems like a good one. We'll mix up the Flamethrower into this. Um, uh, settings, hold on. Oh, auto-aim is on. It didn't seem like it was. It seemed like it was aiming wherever I was moving. Okay, let's go with Flamethrower again, and then we'll level that up. So once you get two of the same type of weapons, you can upgrade them. Uh, and that's what we're going to do as long as I can click on it, actually. Okay, so now we have a level two flamethrower, so it's going to do more damage and all that good stuff. We might go high into energy gain with this character. All right, well, we'll do another flamethrower. Unfortunately, this character is not going to have a dash. The other character's special ability was a dash. So I wonder how it's going to be like not playing with it with with no dash. OK, so movement speed, light speed, light area, vision range. Um, hmm. Do we want that one? But less HP and less defense. Let's do the expander. Let's see what this does on our weapons. So central damage range, then duration. Let's go with duration on that guy. Okay, 
So I think these were the two guns we ran last time. So let's not pick those ones and let's go with the mutator. That's going to add burn duration and burn damage. And then that'll, oh, they both do the same thing. <laughs> uh, let's put it on this one. It seems to do more there. Um, okay, let's do HP regeneration, energy, energy regeneration. Yeah, let's do this one. That one sounds pretty good. Then bounce rifle. We did the bounce rifle kind of before. It's not really that great of a weapon, so I think we're going to pass on that one. Let's do amplifier. We'll skip these ones because we ran those again. Let's do the weakness analyzer. That's going to give us crit. Uh, then let's do impact booster. Okay, we can actually run that there, huh? And okay, then we can level this up. And then let's see, what is this going to do? Knockback? We'll just put that on... No, we can put that on this one. And then what's this going to do? Explosion range? Sounds good to me. Alright, chainsaw? Yeah, sure. Uh, we'll keep that there for now, though. Yeah, the rockets are pretty cool. I bet you it's pretty good at clearing out an area, but we're definitely... I'm going to have to work on that energy regen. So we're going to need to get some items that are going to do that. Let's do the glaive. The glaive will be another good weapon. I think we try to run four different weapons, or six different weapons this, this round. Last time we ran a lot of the same ones because we had some item that let us do that. But this time, I think we we run all different weapons. Let's try something a little bit different. Okay, Intimidation, Intimidation Chance, sure. We'll kind of be, I guess, maybe more of a close range character. So Intimidation will be decent for that. I do miss not having a dash, though. Did we take a chainsaw? We do have a chainsaw, so let's take that. And then we'll just straight up upgrade this. Then we'll switch it with that. Oh, that chainsaw is kind of cool. <laughs> it's an interesting weapon. All right, let's do weakness analyzer again. Let's unlock this slot, and we'll put that there. Pick the power boost. I mainly like trying to upgrade the things I have, especially if I have the option to do that. So we got about 30 seconds left. We already completed both of our quests, so we're good on that. That was easy peasy. What is this? This is something new. Uh, let's do the Phantom Blade. This wasn't in here before. Oh, no, I don't know if we're going to get this in time. This is new. This wasn't in the first. <laughs> this wasn't in the first time we played. Oh, man, we don't get to see what that is yet. Okay, so we got three impact. So the way this game works is you complete missions, you complete levels, and then you get an impact level. Um, and then it's supposed, I don't know exactly how it works, but supposedly the higher your impact value is, the better chance you have of rewriting the timeline. 
I don't really know how much you need to successfully complete this, but I do know if you fail the, if you lose a mission, you don't actually lose the game. You just increase your risk level. And then if you lose enough of these, your disaster level goes up and then you just, I think you just lose. So zeroing the counter will trigger the great catastrophe ending the timeline. Uh, between each round, you get to kind of do these little bonus areas. These you get to construct domains and you get extra items or extra crystals. You get an extra level to play, something like that. It's going to be random. So it's kind of going to play like a slot machine for us. So we got an extra photon cannon. We got the level and then we got an upgrade to our intimidation. So we only have 15 crystals, not really enough to do anything. Let's just go straight into the game. We're going to do this level, though, the normal level. It seems that she does the rockets wherever I'm looking to, so it's not... Let's see if I'm not looking. It's gonna do it right on me. Okay. I wish it did have more of an auto-aim to it. Okay, let's do the life recycler. That's The life recycler is incredibly important. I think it's probably one of the best things to have in this game, especially on every weapon. It's going to keep you alive incredibly well. It's just going to give you so much life steal. And later in the game, it does feel that you're going to need it. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have life steal on my weapons. There's no way we would have won as many runs as we did. All right, let's go with rocket launcher. We can't upgrade that yet though. Okay, this will complete our quest. I really, man, I really want to get just so much energy so we can keep doing this. Um, let's do the weapon cooler. Okay, let's unlock you. The cooler on the chainsaw. More attack speed. Can't upgrade anything yet. Need 40 for the next up weapon unlock. Okay, we'll do chainsaw again. So in order to upgrade our chainsaw, we're going to need another um, another level two chainsaw. So we have to get two level one chainsaws. Let's do or let's do the power gauntlet. And then that might be it for our guns. If we run, let's see, we have three spots left. We have the glaive. The photon blade. And then maybe this one. Yeah, I think those might be it for our weapons. The game does say I can press RS to withdraw early. I'm not sure what that means, to be honest. Okay, so just like that, we have a level three flamethrower now. Um, I don't know if we would want to. I don't know if we, you probably maybe get your impact bonus for the quest, but maybe not for completing the mission. Okay, we'll do the multiplier. That was something I didn't really notice before either. I don't think that was I don't think that was there before. We're just going to run all the missions, so
Because obviously we want all the crystals and everything. Okay, so let's upgrade that. So it's going to give us an extra crit multiplier. Flamethrower again. Ooh, for every 4,000 damage taken, get plus one defense. Ooh, but the life recycler. I'm gonna take the relic though. Those are a little bit more rare. Oh, let's okay. Let's unlock our next weapon too, and then we'll put. I think we'll put in the, the photon blade there. Oh wait, we have a level two photon blade. Let's put that in there. All right, stage complete. So we get the extra four, well, then we get the one from here. So we get four extra total, which bring us up to seven. Let's do our bonus area. Be cool to get the compression suit. Oh, we got it. Awesome. <laughs> so that means we have we now have a level two compression suit. So now it's going to be it only takes 3500 damage. OK, let's unlock this slot and then we'll put uh, blast wave damage 40 extra percent. So now we need 80 and then to get our next weapon. So maybe we save up for that or extra slots. OK, let's do our next battle. Oh, we also need to, we probably won't be able to do this till a little later, but we'll save up some crystals and try to do, okay, we're going to take this one. This one modifies our weapons. Um, let's take out this one and let's put in this. What's that going to do? Jet angle 30%. So it's going to give us more better angle. I don't know exactly what that means. Let's actually, hold on. Let's, um, let's see what that does on... Let's see, burn duration, it's, what's this do on this one? Jet distance, okay, the jet distance is pretty good. And then, yeah, okay, let's do it like this. So that's going to give me an extra bullet, and then 50% extra damage, and then switching this will give me more distance on the... on the flamethrower. We're getting too close to the nest. That's why I took so much damage there. It's going to be so weird not having a dash. I got to be honest. All right, let's go power gauntlets. Then we can level that up. See, now we're already back to full health, pretty much. So I want to get one of those life steals on every single, every single weapon. Counterattack steal three times damage, guaranteed when dodge is triggered. That sounds pretty good. Let's take it. So we can actually ban stuff now. Let's um ban the auto cannon. Wait, what did that say? Insufficient. Oh, what? Why can't I ban stuff? Ban list. Oh. Sorry, this is locks in. I don't want to lock anything in. 
exclude target after I, so this is th the colors are confusing me okay so i want to ban i don't want to ban this so let's make sure we ban stuff and then we'll we'll use one of our free refreshes invincibility after taking damage sure I want to try to find one of those other... That thing we just saw on the first map. I want to try to find another one of those. Okay, we'll definitely take... Oh, man, this is a tough choice. Both of these are incredibly good. I'm actually going to take this one. Then I'm going to unlock this slot and I'm going to put it on here. These ones are incredibly good because they modify the weapon in a different way. They'll give it extra bullets, extra saws. Um, like this one gives it extra bullet, extra damage. This is going to give me an extra saw. So it's, it's pretty crazy. See, now, now it's a two saw weapon. It's it's Those are incredibly important upgrades too, I think. Because they change how the weapon works. So I do think that is probably a top priority. And then the life analyzer is kind of a second. Okay, let's do, so let's ban these again. Let's ban the Tesla gun. And then let's ban the laser rifle. So we have one more ban left. We'll take the chainsaw. Okay, perfect. So we can upgrade this and then we can upgrade this now to level three. Okay, we need 80 crystals for the next weapon. Okay, we have one more ban. Let's ban the gravity gun. And I'll use my last refresh on these. Do the power boost. unlock a new weapon we'll do that what do we want to put there i guess the power gauntlet because that's the next highest level um let's replace this with this real quick i'm not gonna upgrade these yet either i'm gonna try to get one of these on every weapon and then we'll start upgrading them and then we'll unlock these slots Leaves a burning area where you walk, lasting four seconds. Uh, yeah, sure, that sounds cool. Keep going. I don't think we got those last time. I always gotta stock up on the weapons, so whenever I see a weapon that we have equipped, I'm gonna pretty much take that. I'm gonna take that one though. And then let's unlock this. Oh wait, we already have that there. Okay, we can put the health down on this one then. And then what's that gonna do on this one? Oh, the jet angle. Um, maybe we replace that. 
Blade waves. Okay, let's do extra blade waves. Actually, let's switch this up, though, because I think I'd rather have my life steal on my flamethrower. Twenty more seconds. More HP defense, but less dodge and move speed. I think that's okay. I think that's okay taking this because, again, I think we're going to try to kind of go for more of a melee tankier range. So I think having a slower movement speed is maybe okay. <laughs> I really don't know. Not having a dash is bad, though. Okay, let's do that rocket launcher again. So that's going to get us a level two and then a level three. All right, so we got six impact that time. How many crystals? 37, so we don't have enough to unlock any of these yet. Let's do our construct. This one's usually pretty good. Oh, I thought we actually got it. Oh, this is actually really good. The mist exploration is incredible. So the mist exploration is probably one of the best things you can get. You can only do it once. We're just going to go do it right now. It might be better to save it more toward the end. I don't know. But you get to break these armory crates and they have weapons or they have the modifiers in there. So you're going to get a ton. We're going to get I'm basically going to get 18 weapons or modifiers here. Uh, incredibly useful for leveling up your weapons and everything else. It's really, really good. So if you get that one, uh, be happy. <laughs> be happy you got that one. So we have 13 more armories to destroy. So we're getting weapons in every single one of these. Or weapons are the, the modifiers. Illuminator. Fission device. A level 2 photon blade. Alright, let's go with the power gauntlets. I actually, I don't really know if I like these power gauntlets though. Okay, let's upgrade everything we can here. Um... Not the fission device, though, because I do want to save that for the next weapon. This and the life recycle are basically one on almost every weapon. So once I get one of those on every weapon, that's when I usually start doing the upgrades. Okay, there's four more armories. We still have two and a half minutes, though. Okay, let's unlock this slot. Uh, where was it? Right here. Okay, then we can upgrade this, yeah, to level three. Uh, we'll, we'll do all this after. Let's do all that stuff after. Okay, so there's two, and then there's only going to be one more armory left. Flame throw and rocket launcher. A level two rocket launcher, too. That's good. Okay, where's the last armory? this 
Oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff right there. We got a shield, a speed boost, we got a green crystal. I think the green crystal gives you 10. Man, there's still one armory somewhere. Where are you? I have a minute to find you. It's either in the middle of the map or it's going to be on the far right side. Yeah, we'll take you again. Yeah, I'm thinking far right side now. get all these crystals too it's a it's a hard balance but I really want to get this last armory not gonna find this last one. Man, we might not get this last armory. Guess we'll just try to get the crystals then, get as many crystals and kills as we can. So we completed that. Let's upgrade. Which one's going to give me the energy? This one gives me more energy. Which one's going to give me the energy regeneration? This one. Close to focus. And then I'll probably save up and do another focus. Oh, this looks like it's going to hellfire. Is that my special? Yeah, I think that is. So this upgrades my special, but it upgrades the energy cost of it, huh? I don't know if I like that. But I do need to upgrade my energy regeneration, and then we'll upgrade survival too to get more energy at some point. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's upgrade whatever weapons we have here. Okay, so what do we want to run for our last weapon? The glaive? Yeah, I think we'll run the glaive. So we can sell this. Let's recycle that one. Let's upgrade what we have here in our inventory first. No, not the fission device. Wow, I got three of those. Okay, let's upgrade the mutators. Uh, I'm going to hold on to these. So actually, I only need... Oh, no, I do need one for this one. What did... Oh, this one did the one we didn't really... Duration, distance. Actually, I might not really put one on this one. So let's upgrade... Let's upgrade this one. So it's going to give it 100% damage now. Okay, let's keep going. For every 1,500 enemies defeat it, max HP, great. See, I think these are new. These are either new or we just didn't see these last time. It wouldn't surprise me, though, if they did put out an update for this game and I just didn't catch it. Missiles do a lot of damage to 400 damage. That's why I want to get these powered up so much. Oh, I can get both of these at the same time. 
Okay, do flamethrower. Phantom Blade. Okay, we can level up the Phantom Blade now. one I can oh dang it I leveled up the wrong one I was thinking <laughs> I, I thought we were leveling up the power booster that I just picked up oh well <laughs> I wanted to save those we'll we'll get other ones I thought I was upgrading the power that I just picked up this up oh then we can get this to three awesome let's go get our supply drop we still have a minute and a half here on this level all right we'll do power gauntlets again Man, we didn't ha we haven't seen that other thing yet, huh? Whatever that skull was. The last time we the very first level we saw it, I didn't get a, I didn't get to it. Okay, so that's going to give us a level 2. Oh, let's um let's recycle you. Sometimes it's worth keeping the weapons to level up a little bit too because you do get more resources for them. Let's unlock this last weapon slot and put what were we putting in there? The glaive. Okay, so now we'll work on unlocking these two spots, I think, so we can put our extra fission device and then some life steals in those two. Those cost a lot, though. So the glaive basically does this yo yo, <laughs> this yo yo attack uh, circular around us. So again, that fission device is going to put, uh, probably, I bet you it puts an extra yo yo on it. You know, it's going to, it's going to swing two blades. So that's why it's really important to get those on there. Okay, let's do the power booster. Okay, you're not going to trick me this time. Okay, I'm going to save this, though, and I'm going to hold on to it. Actually, you know what? We don't need to do that. Let's upgrade this to level 3. these yeah now we can upgrade this one I want to get that supply drop too but I want to kind of get my health up here a little bit more stores 50% of damage taken and then explodes for an equal amount of damage um, or a level 2 rocket launcher Level 2 rocket launcher is pretty good. Let's do the damage capacitator, though. I need to get life steal on more of my weapons. Okay, we'll 
we'll do the level two Phantom Blade. Okay, so that's gonna get me a level three, and then that's gonna get me a level four. Okay, so we're gonna switch these out. I'm gonna put the level four up here on the stronger. The more bonuses. What kind of makes it interesting too is those upgrades do they do something slightly different for every weapon so it is worth checking out what they do on on different things so you kind of want to move it around and see what it's going to do on every weapon all right so we're almost done let's do our last we have a hundred let's do more survival and then Let's do. Okay, so let's do our last construct. See, so we're already at 40 minutes here. That's why we do. That's why I do one act per video. Oh, we got that again. Dang. Okay, so it looks like we're going to do two more levels then. That was actually pretty good. We got a level two flamethrower, too. Uh, so that's an upgrade. Then we can get you to level four again. Man, I'm going to keep my rocket launcher up there, though. But now we do have a level four flamethrower. Uh, bounce rifle. We'll just we'll keep you because again, it's worth keeping them to upgrade. Okay, so let's go do this again. Start battle. Okay, so let's try to do this a little bit differently so we don't miss any. Check this top corner first. Do this in a nice uh, mow the lawn fashion. Okay, again, we'll do all the upgrades after the run. Ah, see it worked. We got <laughs> we got every armory this time. We didn't miss one. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. I know I didn't get that item up there. Let's go get that item. There we cleared. We cleared it all. Alright, let's do oh man. I hate it when it's a level two I hate it when it's such good choices. I'm gonna take the level two chainsaw though. Okay, man, that's a lot of stuff to upgrade.
All right, let's go rocket launcher. This is an easier level too. Usually they usually they don't they don't really have elites or any of that type in this level. So it's easy to just kind of farm crystals too. There's no real threat here. those last two we got one of them all right mission complete three extra impact let's go to our and upgrade everything upgrade 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 Just like that, a bunch of weapon upgrades. Okay, let's upgrade, unlock you. Man, that cost a hundred. We're gonna put the life recycle on that first. Okay, and we'll recycle you. Okay, so this is kind of our final weapon. Rocket launcher, photon blade, chainsaw, flamethrower, power gauntlets, and glaive. So relatively pretty close range build outside of maybe the rocket launcher. And now basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start unlocking all these. And then we're gonna also start unlocking these. So it's gonna be a mix of both. I do wanna make sure we get a lot of focus and survival, mostly. So let's go do our last level here. This is going to be a boss fight. These early bosses are usually kind of hard, so I don't know if we're going to be able to kill the boss or not. Make sure we, that we activate this light tower on him, though. Where is he? <laughs> this rocket launcher is going to be great for the bosses. That's a good amount of damage. Okay, here's another light tower. The light towers do, I think, around 200 damage when they explode. But I got to make sure that he's close. And then I can't get hit by his thing. Characters. She's a beast. I guess I... <laughs> I don't know. We I had a hard time killing the boss in the first time we did this. But her rocket does insane damage. I guess that's what? 20 or something crystals? Okay. Well, we only have to survive two and a half minutes. Like I said, we're going to stay here. I'm going to stay here for all the runs. I don't know if it's... I'm assuming it's more effective to just stay because you're going to get way more crystals. And I don't know if it affects my impact level if I leave a mission.
Oh, here we go. H oh, nope. Dang it, I thought that was going to be energy. Still good, though. I like this character. Even though we don't have a dash, I think her rocket... Her rockets are so strong. Alright, let's go with rocket launcher again. Okay, here. Since we're here, let's up... Let's unlock this. And then we'll put this on this. So what's that? The jet angle again? Does that just kind of mean it gives it more of a whip? I think it does. I think that's what it does do. So now it has length and width. we get a nice magnet here. Nope. Oh, yeah, we did. Looks like we did. Um, let's see. Upgrade that. Wow, another upgrade for this, the compression suit. So what is it now? 3,000 damage? I mean, I, I don't think we're taking a ton of damage right now at the moment. But maybe that'll change. Maybe it'd be worth taking some early, da early uh, damage in this game. Oh, we get a prize up here too. Let's see a Tesla gun. Okay, so 200. Let's do survival focus. And that's it for now. All right. Well, that is going to be it for, I guess, part one of this run. Uh, this is act one complete. So you can see it takes a while. It does take a while to complete a full run because you have to do three stages and then a boss fight. So that's why we break it up. So that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll do part two in a couple days. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.